Welcome back to the SketchUp Academy Toolbox Series. Today's tool is the Rectangle Tool. Uh, like the Line Tool, uh, it is located in the Large Tool Set, which is over here on the left. Uh, on the Line Tool uh, video, we showed you how to get to this Large Tool Set. Uh, the point of showing you this is this is where all the tools that you're going to use in SketchUp typically are located. Uh, you can probably draw just about anything you want just having this open. If you don't have it, uh, there's two ways to get this open. One is in the View menu, Toolbars at the very top, and you will find the large tool set located here. Check that box and it's open, uncheck it and it's closed. Open, closed. Another way to get it is to right click on any toolbar in SketchUp and you will get essentially the same list. Here we have the large tool set in that list with a check mark meaning that it's open. So you can go either way in the view menu or right click on any of these uh, toolbars that you have open now. This typically is not open when you initially uh, start with SketchUp so you'll probably have to find it and open it. For the life of God, I do not know why that's not always there. So, uh, we'll get on to the Rectangle Tool. Rectangle Tool, like I said, is found in the Large Tool Set. It's here. If you hover over any of these tools, you'll see a little flag throw out and it'll say Rectangle Tool or Line Tool, as we saw in the last video. So, a Rectangle Tool, we'll, we'll click it and you'll get a little icon uh, with a it's a pencil with a uh, little rectangle dangling off of it. Uh, like the line tool, you'll click once, let go, drag out. Now we're dragging diagonally rather than uh, on axes here. The nice part about the rectangle tool is it will stay on axes all by itself. You don't have to think about this too much. Uh, so point one, drag out diagonally. And I'm not holding down any mouse button when I'm dragging. I, that's a bad term. Probably pulling out is a better way to say this. And then click on the second point, and you have a rectangle. The nice part with this over the line tool is that the line tool requires you to draw all four edges, as you saw in the last video, to get a rectangle. The rectangle automatically creates all those edges for you. So it's a, it's a nice tool to draw things rather quickly. Uh, I'll just do, oh, that's the line tool. I'll do a few rectangles here. Uh, it will find an edge or a point when you drop it on there. So you can see you can draw uh, a fairly complex object rather rapidly with the line tool or with the rectangle tool. You can also take this out and find a point here, the midpoint on this line. So dragging that out, kind of hovering over the midpoint. And that's one of SketchUp's nice little uh, inferencing tools. And it throws a blue dot up there uh, that says that's the midpoint. Uh, anywhere along this line, it is basically just giving you a red box that says it's on that edge. So you can drag this out and click. Uh, you can fill in spaces all you want. You can reference, say, this edge up here, drag that out, and it will align with the previous tool or the previous corner, whatever you've you know, decided you want it to align with. And go from the midpoint of that uh, rectangle to the midpoint of this rectangle, hopefully. There it is. Sometimes you have to be a little patient, wait for those to show. Uh, but what you can see is over the line tool, you have a fairly big advantage where you can do this rather rapidly. Each one of these creates its own face instantaneously, so you don't even have to think about that. Uh, like we showed you in the previous video, you can push pull all of these objects up or down quickly with the rectangle tool you, you've drawn fairly complex ob object pretty fast. Any of these sides can be push-pulled out. Uh, the push-pull tool is also in the large tool set. It's right here. Looks like a little rubber stamp. All you do is click on a, 
on a face and and hold and move the mouse and it will drag that out to uh, wherever you stop. I won't get too far into the push-pull tool but the whole point of SketchUp is to create faces that you can manipulate uh, into 3D objects. So I'm just going to erase all this. That's a window by the way. Uh, the selection tool is up here as well. That's the little cursor. You can get to it from the large tool set or you can simply hit the space bar and get the cursor as well. Uh, this will allow you to select objects in the model wherever they are. If you want to select multiple objects hold shift and it will allow you to collect or let's say add or subtract so I'm just holding shift and going around and clicking left clicking if you will on different faces and edges and I can collect them and use and manipulate them together if you will uh, there's also a window bottom left to upper right it will select everything that's inside that window uh, bottom right to top left it will only select whatever you happen to touch with that window. So if you notice the difference between the windows, that's a solid rectangle. Selects everything inside of it. If I don't get everything inside of it, it only picks what's actually inside of it. Uh, right to left is a dashed rectangle. And then again, it will only pick things that you touch with that rectangle. Okay, so I'll use the window to select this whole thing and delete it hit the delete key and it goes away. So what we can draw rectangles rather arbitrarily as you just saw but we can also draw them with specific dimensions. Um, much like the line tool we can enter information to control the size of our rectangle. So I'll draw one in. Rectangle is R. R for keyboard shortcut. And if you notice down here in the VCB you saw this before in the line uh, tool this now says dimensions. In the line tool that said length. So this nomenclature down here will change depending on what tool you're using. So I'll click and drag this out and notice in the VCB now we have two sets of numerical values. Uh, one uh, in the X and one in the Y direction divided by a comma. Again that's just output for you to see. Uh, click the second point now at this point I can control the size of that rectangle. If I typed in say 6 foot 6 and then comma, so I'm dividing the two values with a comma, 12 foot, that's a 6 foot 6 by 12 foot rectangle. Just like the line tool I can change my mind. Uh, if I type in say 5 feet comma 15 feet, enter, that will change the shape of that rectangle. If you put those numbers in backwards, or you, the result is backwards from what you think it is, just reverse the numbers, 15 feet, comma, 5 feet, enter. Now that's a cycle. If I go and draw something else at this point, let's say I drew a rectangle over here, I can't change the size of this one anymore in that cycle, but I can change this one now, 5 feet, comma, 10 feet, let's say. So the feet is an apostrophe. If you look down in that corner, it's 5 feet, comma, 10 feet. It's fairly simple. Uh, very difficult to draw a rectangle vertically on the blue axes. Uh, so drawing rectangles vertically, typically I do it with the line tool. So I'm on the blue axis here. I'll come over. Remember, I can hover over a point to reference that point, drag up, and back down. Now I have a vertical surface. With the rectangle tool I can draw on that very easily. It will find that surface very quickly. Uh, that was not good. Now what's that, what, what is that doing? That's cutting these faces into parts. So remember with the line tool we had to draw all four sides before that became light and cut this face. With the rectangle tool, 
we can do that rather quickly. Again, all of these things can be push-pulled. As such, and that's, again, going back to the whole point of SketchUp is we're going to take and manipulate faces into three-dimensional shapes. I like to use the rectangle tool to draw things like walls. Uh, so if I drew out a long rectangle here, let's say, and I put in 3.5, that's inches. So SketchUp thinks in inches, you don't have to put an inch mark, which is a quotation point or a quotation mark. Uh, so 3.5 inches, comma, 12 feet. That's a three and a half inch wide by a 12 foot long wall. Okay, so the rectangle tool, we can draw the same kind of thing vertically. 3.5 comma, I don't know how tall I made that, let's say 8 feet. It's taller than that wall, but conceptually it's the right idea. We can now grab that and push-pull it out. Okay. There's not a whole lot more to the rectangle tool than what I'm just showing you. But the VCB down in the corner will show you what you are drawing. Uh, I wouldn't use that necessarily. That's, that's output. You can use that at times to control your dimensions if you'd like. But it's a little difficult to get it exactly where you want it. So use, use numbers. Uh, it does give you a hint, which is nice. It shows you which number you're wanting to set for, say, the thickness of that wall. The first one here, as you can see, is the smaller number. It does tell me the height, 3.5 comma uh, 4 foot 9, I think it was, something like that. But these all cut faces quite easily. So think of the rectangle tool as a quick way to draw objects uh, over the line tool. There will be times when the line tool obviously works best for you, but uh, think in terms of rectangles if you can. So point A, pick, drag, not drag, pull. Don't hold down the left mouse button. Pull and set that point. Same thing here. Now, much like the line tool, as soon as I cross things here, in other words, this rectangle crossed over or overlaid on the first one, I now have divided these into separate faces. So again, with the push-pull tool, I can pull these up individually. Again, the whole point of SketchUp. Quick way to draw windows, for example. And I'm not going to try to get these perfect but you can see the idea. If you want to draw a door, easily done. Uh, again, you could control this with uh, the input. And if you watch at the bottom, it's in the VCB, it's going to tell you which number is the small one. So in this case, it's 6 and 5 eighths by 2 and 3 eighths. So this is kind of a small object. But let's put uh, 6 comma three, that's a six foot or six inch by three inch rectangle. If I want to duplicate this, and we'll do this quickly, and we'll get to the move tool a little bit further down, but I can duplicate that. So just clicking on that face, I can grab that object and copy it. Okay. So you can select a rectangle, the whole point of that, so you can select a rectangle simply by selecting the face itself. I don't have to select all of these objects. I don't have to go around and pick each one of these pieces individually like that so I, I could move it. That's not necessary. Just pick the face itself. And the face for the face to exist, it has to have edges. So picking the face... It, 
infers that you're picking the edges at the same time. Okay? Quite simple. I'll just draw a few rectangles on here, but you can see what, what happens here. Now, I've used this in the past. I think it's kind of a nice planning uh, direction that you can go. I've used this to plan uh, rooms of a house or a building of any sort, or anything really for that matter. If I take a rectangle tool and drag this out, and let's say I want a 12 foot by 12 foot by 20 foot room, 12 foot comma 20 foot, enter. And I draw another rectangle, say I want a uh, 8 foot by 15 foot room. And then I want a 5 foot comma by 8 foot room. This is a way for me, I don't know what happened, why that's got an end point in it. I'll just draw that line in there. To plan things. So I can pick this and move this room, say, to there. Move this room, say, to here. And start developing a plan. Uh, there are, if you move this, you're going to start reshaping other parts of the uh, of the plan. So we have to be a little careful with this. I'll give you one little quick hint as how to do this better. SketchUp has what's called groups. Uh, you notice that when I moved a part of this drawing that was connected to another part, everything changes. So this is what SketchUp is called sticky. Things stick to another. Uh, most of the time, you're not going to want that to happen. So if you right-click on an object, here now, in order to do this, I have to double-click. If you double click on an object, uh, you will select the object, the face, and all the edges. Double click. If I pick just once, I just get the face. If I double click, I get the face and the edges. Uh, another way to select objects. Right click on it and pick Make Group. And we'll do that with all of these. Make Group. Make Group. Now, when I move these things together, one can move this object without affecting the other. So they're, you're basically isolating geometry. Uh, I've done a lot of planning for homes like this. Uh, it's kind of a quick way, kind of the old, uh, almost like you're cutting out pieces of paper and sticking them together, like maybe your client might do. Uh, let's do another one this way. We'll do a 16 foot comma 8 foot room. Double click on it, right click, and pick make group. This is what's called a context menu, so pick make group from there. M is the move tool, and I'm just going to grab a particular point on that rectangle and move it where I'd like. So if I'm not happy with where it is, I can move it quite easily. These will not cut each other. Okay, They're independent geometry, so I can still move this. You will not develop the faces like we had before when we drew rectangles overlapping each other, and you get all these faces. With the groups, you won't have that happen. So it depends on which way you're going, what your, what your goal is here. But uh, rectangles are a fast way to draw things, especially if you group them and you want them to start manipulating things. With a group, and this will probably be the end of this particular video because I don't want to get too detailed, but with a group, if you want to work in that group, in other words, you want to edit that group, double click on it, and you'll get this gray box. What that means is you're now in edit mode, and I could push pull this piece by itself. If I want to work on any of these, I have to do the same thing. Double click on them and push pull or 
draw on it. I can now draw inside here if I'd like and create another object. These still are the group. They still can be separated from one another and moved around independently. Okay. That's a key piece of information to have in SketchUp is to understand groups. There are There's another thing called components, but we'll leave that for now. Uh, that's about it with rectangles. You, like I say, rectangle in summary uh, finds axes pretty quickly all by itself. You don't have to think much. It stays coplanar. Uh, it also uh, creates the face for itself right away. Another little quick thing to talk about with lines and rectangles and uh, faces is in order to create that face or keep that face, you, all the edges have to be intact. If I use the eraser tool, which is E, is a shortcut, and I erase one of these lines, that face goes away. Uh, I can use either the rectangle tool or the line tool. I'll use the line tool here in this case. Finish that object and I get a face. I could do it with the rectangle tool. Basically just trace it again and get that same face back. That's it for the rectangle tool at this point. We'll show you more applications for the rectangle tool as we get further in this series. So, uh, the icon here in the large tool set for rectangle tool. I think these are also under draw, shapes, rectangle, uh, or R for rectangle. Uh, these are key called keyboard shortcuts that I'm giving you when I'm giving you letters. Uh, I like to work that way. It's a lot faster than trying to find this stuff in here, but the large tool set initially is probably a, a good way for you to go. That's it for a rectangle tool. I appreciate you coming by, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.